became the camp hero when Al Cronkite showed me how to make maple syrup. <laughs> and how did that happen? Well, the, we used to have hot cakes and bacon. Quite good because it was great big 10 pound tins of salt cured bacon. And I learned to open them with a cleaver. And that was an art in itself. That's to open it without chopping the hand off. Mm -hmm. And all we ever had was grape jelly to put on the pancake. And I never, even as a child, much cared for grape jelly. And when I got in the Army, I cared even less. So, Al Cronkite, went, <laughs> I took care of him, he was a drunk. And I used to get the first couple of shots of booze in the middle of the morning to get rid of the shakes. So he said, I'm gonna make you the hero of the camp. And how are you gonna do that? I'm gonna show you how to make maple syrup. <laughs> so he showed me how to make maple syrup. Man, those guys fell in love with this ugly little guy after that. So how do you make maple syrup? Well, the way we did it, we had uh, a big square tray, maybe maybe three inches deep, and it sat right down inside the top of a field range. And first of all, you got a humongous pot of hot water. You got water, you got to be hot. That's the first thing you do, get a hot water. And dump a 10-pound bag of sugar in that. You open a tray and just keep working it back and forth the tray with a spatula. And when it starts to caramelize, you start adding the hot water. And when you get enough hot water in there, you take a bottle of maple abstract and sp sprinkle it liberally in it and stir it well. And those guys thought they had real genuine maple syrup. <laughs> well, 